it's Wesley, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at a guitar. This guitar is by a brand called West Creek. They've been popping up all over the place on in my Instagram, my Facebook, threads, absolutely everything and I've been checking them out for a while, keeping an eye on them because they've got a, a, a wide variety of guitar shapes. Um, they do V's, Explorers, like an offset SG type which this one as you can see in the background uh, this is the one that we're going to be looking at it's called the racer because it has the sort of the race stripes on it which is pretty cool uh, and they go anything between sort of 199 to maybe 230 pounds and that's roughly around about 220 to 260 270 dollars and the reason I picked it up was because I'm in a band called Shekel uh, that's why the channel's been going a bit slow recently, I do apologise. We've been doing a lot in the background, we've been recording, it's a new project and I think it's going to be awesome. So you guys will see a lot more of that involvement on this channel as well. But last week I did a cover of, or playthrough should I say, of one of our songs called Lady Flamenco. And that was actually released back in June. You can find that one on Spotify, I'll leave the link as well in the description so you guys can check it out. It would be greatly appreciated if you could. But I needed a backup guitar. I've got my V and I've played quite a few gigs now with the, uh, with the band, but if I've always thought to myself, if I break a string, I don't want to start changing a string halfway through a gig. So let's get a backup guitar. Let's get a cheap throw around one that I can just chuck over my shoulders if the V does break a string or something along those lines I've got a backup so I went on to Amazon checked out West Creek guitars and I decided to go with this one it's quite lightweight uh, but it's still got a bit of solidness to it which is quite nice the headstock is actually pretty pretty cool I like the design the body is like an offset it's like an offset SG type and I really like that. The, the racing stripes, pretty cool as well. And you've got the controls for the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. You've got three-way toggle switch, as usual. Two sets of volume and tone. The bottom set is for the bridge and the top set is for the neck. You've got the jack input at the bottom and at the front, like most SG guitars are. It's a lot more comfortable than having it down here, in my opinion. The frets are rounded. I'll show like a close-up of that as well at some point. But there's a few other things as well on this guitar that I'm not sort of happy with. But that's something that for £199, I can fix very, very quickly and very easily. So the fretboard uh, binding right at the top where it meets the, the fretboard is a little bit too straight. So it's quite uncomfortable sometimes. So I'm just going to get some sandpaper and round that off. The nut, I probably will change that to like a graph tech bone nut and the tuners as well. I will most likely be replacing them just because cheap guitar, cheap tuners, you know the crack. It did come with a cheap cable, but that went straight in the bin because no one wants to use them. Not even live, not anywhere because they are just rubbish. If you ever get a cable in a guitar box and it's just the black cable that comes in a little plastic bag, throw it in the bin. You don't need that. You don't need it. You can get cables for like five pounds that are way, way, way better um, and will last you a lot longer. So that's the reason I bought this guitar was because I needed a backup and I thought, why not chuck it on the channel, give it a review because uh, I haven't sent it back, which is good. Took it to rehearsal the other day. It did its job. Um, so would I recommend this to sort of new guitar players? Probably not just because there's a few things on this guitar that uh, you would need possibly to take to a guitar tech because if you can hear this after a week of playing it is a bit scratchy might feel uncomfortable for a brand new guitar player and one other positive thing though which I forgot to mention they put the strap button in the right place why can't other brands do that? they always put it either on the horn or on the tip of the horn and it just it just doesn't have the, the balance but this is in the perfect position one at the bottom and it balances perfectly so there's no neck dive on this at all so what I'm going to do we're going to quickly run through the specs with you guys just to find out uh, what this guitar is all about you guys can see what it is and then I'll go through the sounds I'll be doing the usual that I do sort of uh, the neck and the bridge just clean tones 
then I'll put it through like a leady crunch and then I'll see you guys straight after that to talk about my overall general thoughts about it. So without further ado, let's check out these specs and let's check out the tones. There wasn't much listed on the Amazon listing for this West Creek Racer guitar, however I can give you the information of what I can see on there. So it boasts a mahogany body apparently, it has a maple neck but the fretboard we're unsure of what the fretboard is as it doesn't really specify that on the Amazon listing. It has basic sort of Grover copy tuners it has two Alnico pickups, doesn't give much information other than they're Alnico pickups. Uh, it has two volume knobs and also two tone knobs and a three-way switch. The edges on the frets are actually rounded which is quite nice. You can see that it's got a slight binding around the edge of the fretboard too. And it has the stop tail and just normal tunematic type bridge that you would find on any SG or Les Paul guitar. There we have it that was the sg type west creek racer guitar overall thoughts as you guys heard in the intro for what it is 199 pounds it's fantastic would i recommend it for new guitarists no one that's sort of someone that's never picked up a guitar before i wouldn't recommend it just because you're gonna have to do a bit of work to it and if you're not clued up on it it might just make your guitar experience, your first guitar experience, not great. So, what I recommend doing for new guitarists, you go to a local guitar shop, go to a guitar shop, have a chat with them, they will ask the right questions, they'll point you in the right direction, and they will get the perfect guitar for you. Why I don't recommend going online and buying these sort of budget-friendly guitars is because guitars like this are made for guitarists like me or intermediate guitarists that want to have a bit of fun learning how to mod guitars. As I say, I'm going to change quite a few bits on this guitar. So as a new guitarist, you don't want to go doing all of that, spending extra money. Go to a guitar store and they are the professionals and they will point you in the right direction. But talking more about this guitar, for someone like me, this is absolutely perfect. I took this to the rehearsal room the other day, it blew me away uh, with the capabilities of it for £199. Is there work to be done in it? Yes. 
Can it be done? Yes, there's no problems. It's solid, it's not too weighty, and also the strap button's in the right place. I keep saying it, but that is just some attention to detail that not a lot of people put into guitars like this shape. I love the offset shape as well. It's not your sort of normal SG. They've sort of got it at a slight angle. Uh, it looks like someone's got a bit drunk and <laughs> cut it out incorrectly, but it works. Uh, you've got, as I say, the volume and the tones for each pickup. The three-way switch is quite solid, and it doesn't sound that bad. What I might possibly end up doing is changing the pickups at some point, but that's just personal preference. I think they sound pretty good on a rocky, crunchy type channel tone. I think once you get to the higher gain, it might not be as powerful as you want it to be. But, again, personal preference. The machine heads, I will definitely be changing. Uh, so I will find a set and I'll probably do a video on the gear that I do change on this particular guitar because uh, I might change the the tail the stop tail I think it's called the stop tail and the bridge uh, just because I want to black it all out as well uh, but again that's personal preference that doesn't need to be changed that seems to be pretty solid for the moment so uh, rating out of 10 that I would give it uh, for what it was for the money everything overall I'd probably give it sort of like a seven seven and a half it does the job if it was any more than 199 pounds then I'd probably not highly recommend it but as a mod guitar for 199 pounds or as a backup guitar that you play gigs and you need just that second guitar to just chuck over your shoulders if you break a string or the other guitar isn't working this will do the job absolutely fine leave it in the background on a stand keep a strap on it and if anything happens to your main guitar, this will be there to do the job. So with that said, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my future videos. And doing all of those things is greatly, greatly appreciated as it helps the algorithm with these videos. If you want to check out this guitar or any other of the West Creek guitars, I will recommend you clicking the link in the description. I'll leave it in there. But again, word of warning, if you do buy it and you are a brand new guitarist, don't expect to have it extremely playable out the box. If you've got any comments or have any questions on this particular guitar or on anything at all, put them down in the comment section and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later on. Thank you very much.